Hi, I'm Steve Garrett from HomeDIYElectronics.com and I want to show you what I've been doing with a, a, an ultrasonic distance sensor um, and a, a, an Arduino and an LCD keypad shield. Here's the uh, ultrasonic module that I've been using. It's a, a, an HCSR04 module. Simple connections on the back, four connections, ground, power, trigger and echo. That's all there is to it. It's easy to drive. Not so easy to make sense of the results, however. And uh, this is what I want to talk to you about today. All the details for building this, uh, including all the software, uh, you can find it on homediyelectronics.com. Here's my Arduino distance sensor. It uses a, an HCSR04 ultrasonic rangefinder module and an LCD keypad shield to display the results. Now, when I started to look at ultrasonic range finding, I started off by looking at every individual distance that uh, it, it gave me. And I, I soon found that that was very difficult to, to actually make sense of because the sensor sometimes has trouble locking on to any individual object. What we're looking at here is the sensor uh, looking at a, a small object at about 120 centimeters away with the wall behind it. You can see at the moment most of the time it's, uh, uh, it's, it's looking at the wall which is about two meters away. But occasionally it picks up the object now, the ultrasonic sensor is a very simple one. All it does is, is uh, it, it sends out a 40 kilohertz burst of pulses and measures the distance or measures the time it takes for the echo uh, to come back to the, to the sensor. So it can, only, it can only measure one echo at a time. And depending on which one is the is the dominant echo. Sometimes it picks the first one, sometimes it picks the second one. Now what I've done here is I've added some persistence to the uh, to the readings and displayed them on the on the LCD. What that gives us I think is a display which is much easier to make sense of what's going on. Yeah, you know, it's pretty easy to see here that we've got a, an object in the in the foreground with something rather large behind it, rather like a radar uh, screen. Well, that's how it works anyway. You can see uh, all the details for this on the website at homediyelectronics.com.